so in this video i'm going to answer a question i just got a question from my student luliana the question is like this so this is the question of her and the question is like not sure but after following the exact steps get the placement on the other side of the model what i'm doing wrong so i guess she is trying to like duplicate it to this side and it's like getting this side she is getting this side right so the main problem i can see here is the pivot point so the pivot point should be somewhere here and so let's see that so let's jump into maya here so here i have the same uh, this is not the same head this is a different head but the situation is same you can see the pivot is here instead of at the center here so if the pivot is here and i'm going to like try to duplicate it with minus scale value so let's go to duplicate special and here i'm going to put minus one in the x box this is the scale x box this is the y and z so here i just put minus one in the x because i want to duplicate it to the other side of the x okay so just apply so here you can see this is the same problem of luliana so the face like got duplicated to this side because of this pivot so just remember the pivot is very important when you duplicate so the solution is to bring the pivot to here somewhere at the center so let's go to front view and i'm going to change the pivot to here so i can do that by pressing d on your keyboard and now i'm in pivot mode now i can move the pivot i want to snap this pivot to this center half line you can see this grid line so for that i'm going to turn on this snap to grid option so that when i move it snap to that grid line okay so then press d again to like get back or to get rid of this pivot mode now i mean by default move tool so let's turn off this so now my pivot is here so if i duplicate it you can see it's like flipping to this side from this pivot and the other thing we need to concern about is this center line should be aligned properly as you can see there are some gaps here and there so i don't know if Eliana has that but i just i just want to cover that as well so make sure this line is aligned so just do one thing go to vertex mode go to wireframe mode select carefully every border vertex is there be careful in this area you might like select any uh, vertex is in the nose area so so don't select those and make sure you have selected the right vertices not inside vertices i'll specially check this area as you can see i have like i have not selected these vertices this should be included here and make sure i have selected all the vertices i want or i need okay i think it's good now i need to align them to this grid line this bold grid line so that all the vertices should be lined off as you can see here so to do that let's go to the move tool and again i'm going to use this snap to grid option and with that option let's go to move tool option box just double click to open and inside that just turn on this option go to move snap settings and turn on this sorry turn off this option written component spacing should be off now it's perfect if it's on then make sure it's off then just snap so if it's on and you are trying to snap it's gonna average uh, it's gonna snap no overall averagely you can see here it's uh, trying to like snap the whole thing as as an average but i want to snap every vertices to that line so that's why i just turn off and just move a little bit now it's perfect now finally let's go and duplicate special now you can see it's perfectly duplicated there isn't any gap in between any vertices and it's gonna merge properly when i mirror it for the final thing let's go to mesh and mirror make sure it's already uh, it's also set x there so let's mirror and you can see when you mirrored some vertices got merged here so let's use a small value here in the merge threshold let's put 0 0.001 so with this value 
and if you have aligned before this mirror it gonna uh, it's gonna merge all those all those aligned vertices and press 3 to check you can see now it's nicely mirrored and merged so i think i have covered that question answer hopefully luliana got the answer and thank you very much for coming back to me for a question thank you